Hey Kiko here, Q&A number two, and I got the questions from the Q&A number one, of course, so here we go. David Yates, he asked me if I could sit down with any guitarist, alive or dead, for an hour um, to jam or exchange ideas, who would I choose and what would be the first question? So, yeah, well... I think the expected answer would be Jimi Hendrix, right? Let me think. Um, Paco de Lucia, what about that? Oh, that would be amazing. Amazing. To jam with Paco? Oh, yes. So the flamenco player from Spain and the Lucia. And um, yeah, I think I would start asking him about fishing. Because he was into fishing. He had a house in Mexico. I think I, I saw a documentary about his life. So it's, it's always the best way to approach asking and talking about things that you know the person likes be, before you start asking questions about, um, you know, tricks on the guitar, you know. So I think Paco de Lucia. Another one that I would, I would love to have, to have a conversation and I had, I had a chance to be five days with him was uh, Alan Hosworth and it was amazing. I had the chance to be with him in Italy south of Italy for a guitar camp. We had great conversations, it was, uh, was amazing. It just, just those kind of conversations, you understand better the person and then you understand better the music and it's kind of, in a way, it's easier to, to play something like Alan Hosworth after you know the person. All right, another question here. Khaled Salam, what is your favorite chord? That's, that's interesting because a lot of people ask me what is my favorite chord or what is my favorite scale. And uh, I remember I was doing a live on Instagram and Joe Satriani came in and then he asked, what is the chord of the day? This is more appropriate, you know, because some, some days you feel more like, a, okay, my day today, is, it feels like Lydian, you know, feels like a C major, or it might feel minor, or it might feel, I don't know, um, alter it chord or something. I don't know. But uh, I think it, the feeling of the day of the moment that takes you to a specific scale, to a specific chord, but it really depends on the mood. But I do have a, a favorite chord. It's a minor chord, like a E minor, and uh, but with a major seventh. Right? So like... Up here. So I love that sound, the minor chord with a major seventh. And uh, yeah, so I, I use this I use this chord a lot. Or or you can add a major sixth and the major seventh here. Right? Uh, Another way, uh, actually, actually, I love uh, Egberto Gismonti, a Brazilian composer, um, a great, great pianist, and uh, since the 70s using 10 strings acoustic guitar. So I learned that from him, and uh, he, he plays that chord. Uh, I have to do it here to get like a, yeah. Yeah, something like this. So he plays the the minor chord with a major seventh, but up high there, the major third. So it's a it's a minor chord, but you put the major third there on the chords as well, and uh, with the major seventh. Yeah, and the piano sounds beautiful. Another one here, a riff, or the A riff, then a riff. His name, Arif Dizirik, Dizikri, Dizikri, Arif Dizikri. How do you develop fast downstrokes for metal rhythms? Oh man, I'm not good at that, uh, fast downstrokes, but the way I practice, let me get the guitar pick, you know, somewhere. The guitar picks, they always disappear. That's why I have to have a bunch of them, you know. Uh, yeah. 
So downstrokes for me is more about endurance than speed. So now that I'm not on tour, I'm out of shape. So the way I would practice would be playing for longer, you know, like a song, like three minutes, five minutes, just a longer time. And then not, not super fast, so I can keep the timing, um, keep uh, play very precise, and then I just keep improvising here uh, any chord. So <laughs> I'll be playing this for, for I don't know, three minutes, five minutes to loosen up, to to feel comfortable. Then I will try to play a little bit faster, and then that's it, you know. And uh, and then it's slowly you increase the speed, but it's more important that you you are able to play like three minutes, five minutes, because if you get a song that you have to play the entire riff all the time uh, with downstrokes, then you better have the endurance. All right, so. Yeah, that's the three questions and see you on the next video. Uh, leave your questions here down below and uh, check the link of my new album and uh, see you on the next video.